Morning, girls. Every morning without fail. So you get to come with us this morning and be able to see what we do for morning chores. Uh, the poultry, the turkeys, the chickens are already out. And the uh, turkeys, I think you've seen them on maybe Instagram or Facebook, but they are easily 10 times the size. So these are uh, two of the new little Nigerians. Uh, on the left is Primrose and on the right is MJ. And MJ, oh, she's actually dropping her little goat berries right now. She, uh, unfortunately, came to us kind of bloated. Um, not that these guys are rescues or anything like that, but we have been working through her trying to get used to eating grass and being here on the farm. So we had to do some stuff to her yesterday, like put her up on her hind legs and kind of push along her tummy so we can get her to burp so we can move things along in that room. Y'all ready to go outside? I think that this is hilarious about what they do. They sit there frozen. Okay, now they're moving around a little bit. But they sit there frozen when you first show up. <laughs> they're just like, who are you? What do you want? Now that I have milk goats again, a homemade teat spray that we use on the goats' teats after we milk them to keep them from getting mastitis or infections that way. And then oregano and how we use this little powerful 15 milliliter bottle in so many ways just around our farm. So the first one is the coop spray and I love this recipe from Jill Winger of the Prairie. So one of the things that we do on the property in order to uh, help create an income is what you just saw with what Jackie was doing on Facebook. It seems simplistic, but what's really great about it is that it's a good chance for us to be able to share our experiences and our journey with you. And uh, we get this opportunity every single day, whether it be on Facebook or Instagram if you follow us there, or even on my wife's website, thepaleomama.com, you have a chance to be able to look into the live that we be able to share with you. Uh, we enjoy what we do. We love farming. We think that it's amazing. And we want to be able to share that experience with you at all times. So why did we change the homestead? Why did we decide to relaunch as a brand new homestead that we have currently that we've been sharing with you? Well, back in about March of 2017, we realized that we wanted to travel. We just got the travel bug in us. And so what we ended up doing was by July of last year, we purchased an RV, but in order to do that, we had to rehome and sell the existing animals that we had on the property. At one point, we actually had 150 or more animals, if you take in consideration everybody that we had here on the farm. And it just became very overwhelming and so, we're rejuvenated, we're refreshed, and what I love is that we have now relaunched the farm in a way that uh, we so desire. So we have turkeys, we have chickens, we have the sheep now, we've got some Nigerian dwarf goats and some cattle, and that's pretty much what we wanted to do. We wanted to bring the animals back onto the farm that we knew that we could create the sustainable, natural lifestyle and then be able to experience and share all of our musings with you. And it's just been great because the chores aren't lasting hours again. And throughout the day, we're able to come out here and actually enjoy the animals. And so 
we're just excited about this whole de-homesteading that we've done and being able to sort of relaunch and refresh and renew uh, our concepts that we want to be able to do on our heritage farm. The best thing is, is that you, our viewers, have the opportunity to be able to grow with us and we are unbelievably excited to be able to share uh, both the good and the bad and the ugly uh, on these videos with you guys. So stay tuned. Mm. Goat milk. What are you doing? Are you pecking at the back of my feet? Oh, look at this. Ready? See if I, how long I can tolerate it. 